where their coach, Chris Scott, is joining us. Chris, we're all so pumped for this clash, as I know you guys are. Internally, how valuable is it to come up against such quality opposition at this late stage of the season? Yeah, I think it's a good thing that we're in pretty good form. So uh, it's always daunting when you're playing the best team in the competition. Uh, but, you know, we've got two choices. We can let that... Uh, get to us and um, have us go into our shell and not play our game or we can really embrace it and um, go after what makes us a good team in our opinion. So obviously they're going to be hard to stop in certain areas but if we spend too much time focusing on what they're good at um, I think we will get a bit overawed. Chris, a lot has been said about how tough Melbourne's midfield is. Our, our colleague here, David King, has made a big note of that this week. What do you think Joel Selwood's got to say about that this evening? <laughs> Uh, well, I'd be surprised if he's heard it, to be honest. But uh, I think because he's just so focused on, on... And one of the things that's made him a great player, and I include Patrick in that as well, um, Cam Guthrie's getting into that category, um, that, you know, they really have, um, you know, focused on what makes them good players. And, you know, they're really respectful of the best players in the opposition and look at them for ways in which they can improve. But the, the, the focus really for us... I mean, we need to be careful of the tracker, obviously, and... And, and Oliver in particular, Vine is really tough in there. But again, if, if we just focus on them, um, I think we're almost conceding that we're not as good um, and we've got to try to stop them before we can play our game. I, I just don't think that's true. Scotty, 250 games up for Isaac Smith. It's kind of a funny one when the players played most of his games at another club, and not just another club, but a rival club <laughs> to yours. But can you tell us a little bit about his impact? Yeah, I said during the week that Isaac's just a guy, and, and you'd be able to relate to this, uh, Jace. He just makes you smile, um, generally for the right reasons. I, I also said during the week that you know he's, he's always the first one to pick me up when I misspeak or get something a little bit wrong, um, which makes me laugh as well. And he's just, I mean, it's a, you're right, it's a weird one. I don't think anyone would have thought even a couple of years ago that Isaac would be playing in the hoops. But we did watch Hawthorne so closely for such a long period of time and he was just so crucial to that great team. Uh, so we, we felt like we know him. We knew him before he even came in. <laughs> Scotty, you mentioned before a lot of tonight has been about what you do and what the Geelong team does best. But I would imagine you had a little eye on maybe the combination between May and Lever. How do you combat that combination tonight? Yeah, well, I, I think the first thing for us is to make sure that they need to think about Hawkins and Cameron and Rowan and Stengel. So... Um, that's not to say we're just going to attack them and Lever and May can do whatever they like because if you, if you let that happen, then the odds are very much in their favour. They just position so well. So it's going to be a combination of making sure that we give our forwards the best chance when we get good looks um, and we take them when they're on. Um, but when we are a little bit out of position, just working to nullify them a bit. So we've got some specific strategies, but again, all of our forwards um, have a role to play both in attack and defence. We certainly haven't got one forward out there tonight that's just saying to himself, all I've got to do is stop Lever or May. Chris, you're on record as saying that your strategy this year, the alterations you made through the off-season and through the season proper, have been about winning big games at the pointy end of the year. This is one of those. Is it fair to say it's a big night for the strategy that you've got going at the moment? I think no matter the result, um, we'll learn a lot from this game. Uh, and I just think the things that we've said about the evolution of our game style are only logical. We, um, have felt for, I've been here 12 years and every single year we've thought if we if we get it right um, and we make the changes and they work that we'd be a chance to compete with the best team. So I think that part's only logical. The only exception would be if you thought you're in a rebuilding phase and uh, you have different priorities as, as opposed to um, you know trying to play a game style that can beat the best team. So yeah, look, I think Simon Goodwin apparently said during the week that it's a bit of an audit on where they're at and I think that's a pretty good way of putting it. We, we will come away from this game thinking I suspect a few things are, are on the right track and a few things need a bit of tweaking. Chris, we cannot wait for the first bounce. Thank you for being so good with your time. We look forward to watching it all unfold right here on Fox Footy. Enjoy it. Thanks. Good luck, mate. Yeah, well, looks thank bit, you. It looks a bit chilly down at the Cattery, doesn't it? We'll have to get a, a report from Brad Johnson when we cross back there. But he's Mount... got, he, sorry, he, he's got his game face on, <laughs> does he? There was, there was no smiling, no um, sense of enjoyment. The, you, you could tell how much it means, and you, and you mentioned it, big games. If you're a big team and it's your home game against the number one side in the competition, that is a, 
a game day look from Chris Scott. Does it put you on edge as a playing group when you can see the coach has got <laughs> yeah. the eye of the tiger? Yeah, I mean, we've interviewed him multiple times throughout the year and, and sometimes when they're not playing lesser side, there is a more in, uh, of an enjoyment side of him, but certainly right then, he was steely, he was dead fast in what they're going to go through tonight. So he has made changes, Chase, to the way they want to play for these sorts of games. Just swapping tactics to two coaches. Yeah. There, <laughs> what do you He's reckon they smart, do? What are you going to do? Who do you want to play here? <laughs>